Hello, this is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I've got a Forza Horizon 5 drag and tune video. The car that we are abusing today is a Silvia S15. I love this car as a drift car, but it's even more fun as a drag car. This thing is quite the thing to get the hang of. But before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, when it comes to the upgrades, starting with the engine swap, you want to put in the racing 3 liter L6 T engine. You're going to be pushing over 1200 brake with this in. It makes the car very, very wheel spinny, but if you can get the traction down, it is amazing. That is the biggest flaw with this car, I would say. There's too much power. Uh, for the drivetrain, as you just saw, we're keeping it rear wheel drive. For the aero and appearance, you want to take the spoiler off, and if you can, just put the lightest possible parts on the car to shed as much weight as physically possible. Um, it's not a necessity, you could have it looking like mine, like make it look a little bit better, but it's entirely up to you, either pick weight or looks. When it comes to tyres and rims, you're going to have to go with drag tyre compound and make the rear tyre width as big as possible. And as, a, as always, just to help the car a little bit, if you can go with a lighter rim set just to shed a couple of kilos off the car, that will help a lot as well. Now for the engine upgrades, you want to put every single one of these, all of these onto race just to maximize how much power we're getting for the car. We want to get as much horsepower as physically possible, so all of this, all the way to the turbo, you want it all on race. Now for platform and handling, race brakes makes the brakes a little bit lighter. We're going with off-road springs and dampers, lighter suspension as well. For the roll bars, we're going with race front and rear anti-roll bars. Don't worry about the roll cage. Um, I know there's an argument that we should, as it's a rear wheel drive car, but we're going to choose to shed as much weight as possible, so don't go with a roll cage, and go with that race, race weight reduction kit as well. Now, last but not least, the drivetrain, race clutch, race transmission, race driveline, and race diff. Once you've done all of that, pay for everything, then we can start on the tuning. Now when it does come to the share code, you'll have to wait for after this part. I will say the video didn't capture the tires tune. Um, as you all mostly know, I put my tire tune all the way down to the lowest PSI possible, 15. You want to do that for front and rear. The gearing, alignment, anti-roll bar springs and dampering, everything else the uh, capture card thankfully caught. Um, but I felt like I should at least read out myself what the tyre PSI is just so you guys all don't feel like the video didn't capture the tyres, so what's the tyre PSI? Um, the share code is right here on your screen right now. Um, you could optionally just use the share code or you could just pause the video every time I was changing category. Um, but I will say it again, the tyre PSI for the front and the rear is 15. It's the lowest you can possibly make it. But when it comes to the share code, you could use the share code and it will do all of that for you. It's entirely up to you. Some drivers like to tweak the tune to try and make it a little bit better or to at least like make it more comfortable for them, at least like adjust the gears or adjust the diff. At the end of the day though, they're just making the car a little bit more suited and comfortable for them. But talking about the car, I will say this thing is definitely hit or miss. It is a brutal, brutal car. It's got so much power, it's lightened the hell down as well, because we made the car as light as physically possible. It is a monster, that's why I've named it a monster drag tune on my tuning setups. Um, it is crazy, I will say, uh, just like the BMW wheel spin as well. First and second gear, if you have too much RPM, you will lock the car into a non-stop wheel spinning. It will be going 170 miles an hour and it will be wheel spinning all the way down the track. Um, but if you practice and perfect the RPM I would go at I would recommend anywhere from two and a half thousand to three thousand 
if you feel like you've really gotten used to the car then yeah you could try something a little bit higher than that but I'd go no higher than no higher than four maximum would be 4k any any more than that and you're gonna be stuck in a non-stop wheel spin the entire way down the track like, as you can see for yourself right now on the gears the car non-stop wheel spins till it's at least in third sometimes if you can get it down perfectly you don't even have wheel spin it simply comes to that rpm you can't have too much rpm you are just gonna burn the car out essentially as you can see for yourself right now it's just stuck in a non-stop wheel spinning in the third gear and it's still going and eventually it will stabilize that's if you choke your start if you choke your launch then that is what you're gonna have to deal with you're gonna be stuck in a non-stop wheel spin just like the BMW video but if you perfect the launch you can have a great great time this thing will easily hit 210 to I've had my highest was 214 in it and I would say I was in the middle to the rear of the bars at the front I would say at about 214 out of it when coming back it will hit all the way up to 260 miles an hour it's absolutely flipping crazy but I'll leave you all to enjoy the footage let me know what you think of the tune and the car down in the comment section below but I'm gonna wrap this video up here I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far but I love every single one of you and I'll see you all in the next video.